Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. And I'm Dan. And this is the Board Game Rundown. Today, we are going to review Runes of Zun by Gobiko Games, designed by... Dave Ballmer. Dave Ballmer. Plays two to four players mm-hmm. in 30 minutes. I'd say 30 minutes is pretty accurate, you say? I mean, yeah, obviously, I so. player count matters and also luck of the draw matters. It's, right. a, it's, a, it's a card game, so, you know, you might just, like, you guys might get in a healing circle. Right, right. So, right. Yeah, we have a little um, bit of that action of that, going yeah. on. Redirect. So Redirect. We, <laughs> we, we have played this before because uh, th- uh, Dan's mom Yeah, she, yeah. Started she randomly wanted to back a Kickstarter. Awesome. This was on it, and it was, this is kind of a compliment to the game, that my mom, who has never done that thought it looked fun and accessible enough that yeah. and the price was at a good point that she was like i'm, I'm gonna make this my first kickstarter so, so yeah she uh so can we say your mom's name without of course. Like, okay so it's k right Kay. so shout out to k thank you uh for exposing us to this uh because we had a pretty good time playing yeah. it uh so anyways what it's a card game you're gonna drop to five cards you're gonna drop five cards in your hand right and you're gonna play as many actions as you want. Yeah, mm-hmm. you basically just go until you either can't or don't want to play any more cards, which builds very interesting combinations because the cards are like you play a card and it says this person, uh, pick a player, they do this. So one of the cards, Scramble, is they discard all their cards from their hand and then draw up to five. Well, you could play all your cards except that one, then Scramble yourself. You now discard zero cards and draw five, starting your turn all over again. You can do very interesting combos. Yep, there's um, attacks, the there's counterattacks, there's redirects, there's... There, you, and... and I will say something really interesting that this game does is the uh, the use of colors and iconography, right? Mm-hmm. So we talked about this in Mini Steel. This I love this. Yes. This whole white, just white images on a colored background. I yeah. love that. Like I don't want it in every game, right? Right. But, right. but it serves its purpose in games. But for like this, this kind so of well. for this kind of game, and and I love it though because it's also on theme, right? These are all different runes, like yeah. runic symbols, yeah. right? Uh, so, you know, the reds tend to be more like attack cards. The blues are more like counter yeah. and green is healing. And then yellow is more like Boosting modifying your actions, modifiers, right? Yeah. Modifiers and boosts, things like that. Uh, and yeah, we, you, and I also enjoy kind of this, uh, health point tracker system. Cause yeah, I they think they didn't have to try to be clever with the health. No, and, but I and think they... this also keeps game time down right. too. Cause it keeps you from, from healing too much back. Right. So basically you got three sections, right? So you start with 12 health. Once you get down below nine and you're down in this yellow area, now you can't heal up higher. Like you're stuck. Right. Once you get down to a tier, you can't go back up. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And I, while frustrating when you're yeah. trying to heal yourself yeah. is actually super important. And I think a very good way to keep the game manageable, mm-hmm. right? Keep it from dragging out. If for some reason you want to play for an hour and a half, you could say, well, we're going to ignore that rule. Right. But in the, in the final rounds of the game, you can't heal more than three. Yeah. You know, no matter yeah. how lucky you get with your cards and that's to force it to be an intense climax. And we had a intense, we had a very intense climax yeah. as yeah. Bob and I were both bouncing back and forth, back and forth, between, one to three to four. One and to it three was, four. and again though, right. If we were able to heal back up more than four, we would, might still be playing that game right now yes. uh, <laughs> at the rate we were going. Right. Uh, so anyways, I mean, there's not, I mean, that's kind of the game mm-hmm. and I, mean that in a complimentary way. Right. I like how, like, um, on, the, on the cards, it tells you what kind of cards can be used oh, yeah. what, right? Because each card has its own little icon up here. And then so you have an attack card. Then it has these three icons listed here that those are types of modifiers that can be played with this card. Right. So if it doesn't have this symbol on it, then it can't be played together, right? Because you can't use this one with this one because it's missing that symbol on there. Mm-hmm. And that helps... Um, you know, helps people form their own strategies without having to ask, can I play this with this? Can I play this with this? And then you have the icon, you can't play it. You're not having to ask other people, like, right. oh, hey. And like, then, like, give away what's in your hand. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And there were, um, th- very soon, actually, the expansions are shipping on Kickstarter. Right. right? Um, uh, like a second wave of expansions. And they actually will word things in certain ways, too, that say, so they might not have, this card doesn't have a symbol on it from a modifier from the new expansion, but the modifier from the, from the new expansion will specifically say, can modify any card or can right. modify these type of cards mm-hmm. to make up for the fact that the, the new symbols were not in the, the first original. set of, right. of the game. Yes. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, I mean, I mean, there's just... Not, I don't have much else as far as explanation goes. <laughs> yeah. So, that's, Dan, that's it. Dan we're going to rate it. Uh-huh. How do we do that? Well, see, it would be kind of confusing for people if we all gave a rating number, and then they had to kind of keep track of that. So instead, we'll all give a rating number. But 
We'll average the three together and give you one rating at the end of that, and that's the rating we'll put on Board Game Geek and stuff like that. So that if you want to know what Board Game Rundown gave Runes of Zun, you just have one number you have to say and not three or four or however many hosts right. we have. That yeah, you can put day. away the spreadsheet. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to track everybody's. So, uh, Dan. Dan. Dan, you brought this to the table. I d well, you know, my your mom, mom brought your it mom. to the sure. table. Sure. Your mother. Genetically, you brought yeah, it. <laughs> right. Uh, so I actually feel I'm interested in how these scores are going to go because I feel like I definitely like the game the most out of us mm -hmm. just from reactions of playing the game and everything <laughs> reactions. But, um, but at the same time, it's not like I like love the game and I'm going to bring it to every game night or anything. This is a great family game. Uh, when I hang out with my family, m you know, maybe partly cause it's my mom's, sure. but, uh, we like getting this game to the table and just dueling each other out for a little bit, doing a four-player little fight and stuff like that, that, you know? Yeah, yeah, a little take that little card game. As far as take that card games go, I like this one uh, quite a bit uh, for how simple it is and yet clean. Um, so oh, the shape of that rule book's going to drive Bob nuts. Oh, yeah. No, it's in the he right, can top. <laughs> it's it's in the right shape. <laughs> just play it's just a little small. Yeah, he just needs a... <laughs> <laughs> <and> a <laughs> <laughs> photocopy. Yeah. Um, so but, uh, so I actually think I'm going to land around like a... Um, I don't know, 7.5, yeah. I think. I like the game. I would recommend the game. Mm -hmm. I don't like Take That in general. Right. Uh, sure. So that probably knocks it a bit for me. Yeah. But uh, I do actually, I have played this one quite a bit. So it does make yeah. it to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I think a 7.5 out of 10 is uh, is what I'm going to I'm gonna land on here. Right on. What do you got, Bobby? Uh, I'm probably going to give it a 7. Okay. Um, I, I enjoy it. It's fun. Like, like I say, I mean, it's, it's hard to deny. We're in the last turns. We're going back and forth. And yeah. you know, we're rezzing on each other and, and screaming and yelling. Um, however, like I think some of the expansion adds a little bit more ambiguity with the oh the anarchy card you can play anything on anything and it gets crazy right yeah. and that kind of like opens up might a be box my favorite of card yeah, in the game yeah. now. Uh, <laughs> it, the, the card just says like you can rules, modify anything yeah, it's like the rules ignore them yeah and let's keep playing yeah, yeah I love it um, and well it was fun it did it did kind of lead to some questions that sure there were fun. definitely times where we had to stop and be like let's just say that works like yeah that. how, how yeah. should that work because it's normally well, not meant to but it's anarchy but this you know? kind of game that it takes a very short amount of time uh -huh. that is a hundred percent fine sure it's yeah. one of those don't it's not like we're it. playing Dune for three hours but four hours like wait rules conundrum yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no 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 yeah. for this complexity level mm -hmm. it is very much and not in a uh, derogatory way towards the game is very much a who who cares right plays the same for everybody yep let's just keep going they created right. it for rolling. fun yeah yeah, yeah. For so you said a seven chess a seven. tournament seven dan you might be wrong oh really because the couple of times i've had a chance to play this i think i've won both games so maybe I that's influencing so. i think that's influencing and well, plus okay the victory this time was even sweeter right. because I beat Bob. Right. In a one on one. And you died battle. first. Yeah, it well, it you know. did go in. It was, the last turn, I was like, redirect, redirect you, redirect you. <laughs> I'll mimic that. Well, I'll copy this again. And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. Yeah. It was wild. I think the reason I say so, so what you're saying is you're probably going to give it a higher score than 7.5, saying yeah, you, yeah. you're saying you might like it more than me. But I think my the reason I would say I think I like it overall more is just because I, I don't know. It's just when I'm playing, I'm like laughing and doing all this stuff. And then it gets to Tim's turn, and he's like, I guess I'll redirect. And it's just like, is he having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell. Oh, yeah. But I guess that's just how it's you just play games like this. You know? Well, yeah. Yeah. So, so the thing is, um, like, I usually just play games for fun. Right. These kind of games, like, get me competitive, <laughs> you know? Okay. And Bob and I, like, I mean, we go back. We played enough other kinds of games. There are some games that just bring that out in me. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And it can get ugly. Right. <laughs> I will not lie. Right. Cthulhu Wars, ugly. Runes of Zoom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it can get ugly. Well, if I'm not teaching Cthulhu Wars, definitely. Yeah. Sure. But uh, no, man. I mean, just the fact that, like, uh, we're playing, even if I was on the sidelines for that, I would just be, like, like watching the crazy. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, so for me, I still got a lot of enjoyment out of it. I sure. would say the caveat of, yes, you have to be aware of it. Take that. Like, uh -huh. it is, this is a... a it's not mean spirited, but you're just gonna have to be okay with getting, getting hit. hit. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, otherwise play a co op or right. a Euro. I'll yeah. say too, I don't mean to keep interrupting your score because you haven't got there yet. But forty seven. But the health well, the health tier system, I feel just from my experience playing it, does help with the gang up idea yeah correct as opposed to other games because i don't just want to do a bunch of damage to bob because if i have a chance i want to get them both down a health level yeah. so they can't heal yeah i don't want to just target one person and then no, he has and a I, bunch of and health i think that's like where the uh intuitiveness of this like really like just the design i feel like is very smart 
Uh, because yes, that should prevent a gang up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. it or at also least deter it. Well, it's like, yeah. It's like if Tim's at nine and I'm at full health, he's like, yeah, sure, he could plink me for one, but he might as well plink Tim and get him down there, right. drop him down that tier. Then you can focus now, on somebody else. Yeah, now everybody. And get them down a tier. And sometimes, like, if, if I'm on the precipice like that, right, mm -hmm. and I get dropped down, it's like, well, I'm not as big a target now. Right. You know, if everybody else is still <laughs> high. Right. You know, so I just think that there's a lot of things that go in that I there's a lot of things I like. Short play time, mm -hmm. easy to teach, mm -hmm. uh, so it's very accessible. Yeah. Right. These are very, you know, easy intuitive. To distinguish. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. I just really like this. It's an eight. It's a very solid eight. Cool. I really just have fun playing it. I, I like uh, that. Cool. I like you yeah. know just these kind of games. It's fast. It's furious. So if we average all that together. So that is a solid seven point five. Not yeah, bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, we enjoy it. You guys should check it out. Like yeah. I said, I believe the uh, the second Kickstarter expansion set is sipping. <laughs> it's, it's sipping, sipping soon. <laughs> yes. Uh, and fingers crossed, we're gonna get to see that. Yep. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyways. Yeah, but it's so, super cheap and stuff. So yeah, yeah, it's really cheap. Yeah, super accessible. You find it on their website. Uh, good question, Dan. I don't know. Okay. I've I thought I've seen that at the game store. Or is it on the shelf? FLGS. I, I, I just haven't game, checked their least. website. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Okay. I, I could have swore I've seen it on Even the Even better? Shelf. Clearly we it, do research. It we is research on their this. I have been to the website. It is on there. I remember now. Okay. Is that mm. gobico.com? Dot com? It's, G -O -B -I -C -O. it's .gov. It's dot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not. They're part of Big Brother. <laughs> oh, wow. boy. Anyways, guys. Uh, so a 7.5. We really had a lot of fun with this. Yeah. For a little small box game that you could play with your family, friends, be mean to each other for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. You have a good time. So for the Board Game Rundown, I've been Tim. I've been Bob. I've been Dan. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching.